It may be futile to explain what the F-35 is like. Surely you already know this aircraft is very powerful. The F-35 has been adopted by several countries and is a cornerstone of 21st century global security. However, why this superior aircraft doesn't feature thrust vectoring? Here we go. Yet the F-35 Lightning II is a fifth-generation fighter and does not incorporate thrust vectoring. Probably this was for several reasons, considered as trade-offs against having this technology on board. Thrust vectoring is the concept of reorienting the thrust produced by the aircraft engine in ways which give control of its attitude or orientation when flying. They provide very good maneuverability at low speeds and high angles of attack. In turn, this has all its associated drawbacks, increased weight and volume, more points of failure and higher maintenance costs. In the United States, a series of prototypes were flown during the late 1980s and early 1990s when the process of thrust vectoring was purely experimental. Examples include the X-31, F-A-18 Harvey, F-16 Vista, F-15 Active, and YF-22. Though these experiments have shown some very promising increases in both flight safety and air combat maneuvering capability, Advantages derived were found to be outweighed by the complications and the costs of incorporating TVC into series production of a fighter aircraft. Conversely, however, the multi-mission nature of the F-35 and operational requirements of the mission instrumentation required that several capabilities be traded off against thrust vectoring. The advanced stealth, network-enabled mission systems, and sensor fusion are all integrated into the aircraft, which makes it truly highly adaptable for a number of roles beyond the classic dogfight. Among such a number of features oriented toward providing fuller situational awareness and survivability, there were more essential systems which the designers sacrificed to make room for thrust vectoring. Also the variant F-35B indeed uses a shaft-driven lift fan during flight, this allows it to achieve STOVL capability, but one that is wholly different from true thrust vectoring. It is on this particular configuration that the F-35B can be in an unstable condition when hovering or transitioning, according to principles that surround the manipulation of thrust, not the whole gamut of thrust vectoring. Taking all factors into consideration, the absence of thrust vectoring in the basic F-35 design reflects a strategic decision concerning the right balance between general performance, affordability, and operational versatility.